guys, how are you? So today I am bringing you a quick review on the color uh, tattoo from Maybelline. Uh, just because I super super love the matte consistency of the product. I, I never used any of uh, any other color tattoo from their line, so I'm just gonna go ahead and give them a swatch. I have tried a paint pot or a paint pot from Estee Lauder. Uh, but they always have some kind of shine or creamy texture to it. So I'm super excited about to open this. I have not opened it waiting for you guys just to open it right in front of you and just give you my thoughts and my idea, my first reaction towards the product. Ow. I do like that they're super sealed and then it says limited edition here. I'm sure if you could see it. drop the little lid okay um so it looks like this this is i think just beige yeah i think just beige and i'm just wow it's just a clear yellow not clear sorry a pink nude yellow undertone um color i'm not sure if you can see it quite well So I'm just gonna go ahead and with my Lancome concealer brush just apply it quickly into my hand. So as you can see it's just a really nude uh, yellow. It kind of looks like a highlighted concealer but it's not. Uh, this would be great for the brow bone if you're going for that matte highlighted look. It'll go perfect. Or in your, maybe um, as a primer for any of your eyeshadows. Now I'm just going to go ahead and, and open um, matte brown. It's just a regular brown matte color. So let's see how this looks. So there you go. You see the color kind of matches my nose a little bit. Ooh, concealer. <laughs> um, sorry, eyeliner. Um, it just, it's a very nice matte brown. Kind of looks a little bit reddish undertones. I'm not sure, but let's see how it applies. Alrighty, so there you go. You see the matte brown. Kind of looks um, more into the red tones. I don't know. Um, you could use it for contour maybe since it's a creamy base eyeshadow. And it's matte. Um, it doesn't smudge as easily as any other um, color, I'm sorry, eyeshadow texture. Um, I do like it, but it's very warm. So I'm not sure if it's like something that I wear every day, maybe just nighttime or for holidays or just fall, winter, but not a summer color. So now I'm going to go ahead and try the nude pink. It's just a regular pinky color. Um, you could use this as well for just a primer to intensify an eyeshadow color. So there you go. It's just a regular pink nude color like I said before. So let me go ahead and swatch this. So it's just a very beautiful pink color. Uh, it looks a little bit warm. Maybe because I did dip the same brush with the brown one. But it's very, very beautiful. Let me go ahead and just wash it with my finger um, to see what's the true color. I'm not sure if you could see. Okay, so yeah, it's, it's the same thing, no difference, but that's 
all three colors now I did open all three so I'm definitely going to look, uh, do a look using these three matte colors just because I think it's a real cool concept that's matte it's not gonna you know run or, or, or be all over your under your eyes or all to the top to your eyebrows and I was just gonna stay in place which is very important especially when someone's looking for matte consistency in anything from lipstick eyeshadow foundation it's for it not to run or just disappear quickly uh, since some of us tend to do have oily skin it tends to just disappear or melt away through our skin I live in Miami Florida kind of happens to anyone that has oily skin I do work with cosmetics and skincare so a lot of my clients do always come with the complaint of I have oily skin what can I do for it and it's the answer is always mattify your skin use a primer use something that's gonna matte your foundation or whatever else that you're using um, so if you do have any more questions or any other concerns please leave a comment below and please 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 subscribe thank you bye